What is up, party people? It's Day on Your Basement Guitar Superstar. Tonight, I'm very, very excited to bring you a preview of, and I saved the best for last. So this hopefully isn't their last pedal. I think Scott will be making some more, but this is the Aravada Distortion from my friend Scott Schwartley over at Siren Pedals based out of Nashville, Tennessee. I've done a ton of other previews for him. And I know you guys have heard this on the channel before because this is my absolute favorite distortion pedal. So I'm excited to finally do a deep dive on this. For that, we are going to go based on this card right here. This is the suggested settings. So we'll go through all six of these and show you how those sound. And they have names like, obviously, Siren Starting Point, Woohoo, Colors and Shapes, Kenneth, Turbo Mode, and Rodent Problem. So that sounds pretty awesome. Here's what you got. You got volume, distortion, presence, and tone. Presence and shape. My bad. And then you have a three-way cli uh, clipping switch here as well. So that moves side to side like that. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm excited to show this off. I absolutely love this pedal. This is never going to leave my board. Uh, you'd be hard-pressed to find something that even comes close to replacing this for me. I think, um, obviously, uh, well, I know we're going to be using my Trainer YCV42 amp for this because it's my favorite amp and it's the main one I use for the channel. For guitars, you saw a little bit of this in the Chapman video. I think we're going to use the Chapman ML3 Modern for this one to give you an idea what it sounds with darker humbuckers. Yeah. And then I'm also going to use my Vintage V6, uh, the uh, Fire Enzo Red one that you guys have seen before, because I think that'll give you a good idea of the range of sounds that this thing can produce, and it's definitely got some range to it. So anyway, guys, thank you for joining me. Give me a second to get tuned up, and I will bring you back, and we'll show you how this guy sounds. Okay, guys, we're back. we got the Chapman ML3 Modern Abyss plugged in. We've got the Aravada hooked up here. Go over here, bear with me. Look over to the top right on the pedal cam here. We got it set everything to noon. This is called Siren Starting Point. We're going again based on the sheet like we do in all the other previews. So you'll see the clipping switch is there at the middle. Everything else is at noon. Um, let's give you some clean tones here before we get into that. Setting two now is called Woohoo. Obviously, a reference to Blur song number two, which I really like. I do not know how to play it though. That's one that I need to work on. So, we're going to put the distortion at roughly four o'clock shape, same way, and then the filter and the volume at noon. Clipping switch all the way to the right. So, let's try this guy. Setting number three here, moving on, is called Colors and Shapes. I can only assume that is a Foo Fighters reference, knowing Scott. I know he is a fan of the Foo Fighters. So we keep this distortion where it's at. We take the shape all the way down to about 7 or 8-ish, maybe 6 p.m. there. And the clipping switch will go to the left. 
like I did initially. Filter and volume both stay the same here. It's kind of got a little bit of a big muff feel. I don't know if you guys notice that or not. All right, let's move on here on Z card to the bottom left here. It's called Kenneth. So what we're going to do with Mr. Kenneth here is we are going to take the filter all the way down to about where the shape is. Leave those two or the top two knobs as is. Actually, I fibbed. We're going to take the distortion to noon according to the card volume always pretty much stays on the same setting on all these. You can crank them if you want, obviously, but I'm not going to for the the sake of this preview. So this is called Kenneth. setting anyway moving on to turbo mode which is the middle here hopefully you guys could see that we put the clipping switch all the way to the right the distortion goes to about 4 p.m. here the uh, shape goes to 3 p.m. or thereabouts as long as we're close I think we'll be fine the filter goes back to noon volume stays in noon, obviously so let's try that out again. This is called turbo mode. expecting now let's go to rodent problem which excites me and should excite you too if you're a fan of the proco rat because i that is definitely what this pedal is modeled after obviously it's got this clipping switch so it's a little bit more versatile so we move the shape to about six or seven the clipping switch goes back to the middle everything else at noon this is the last setting here we go sounds like with that and then we'll go from there okay folks I have the vintage v6 strat style guitar plugged in now uh, we're looking back at the Aravada if you come over here with me to the pedal cam 
We're going to try setting one again. Again, the siren starting point. Wanted to show you what this sounds like with the Strat style guitar. I do have both tone knobs turned up all the way, and I'm on setting four, which is the middle and bridge pickup. Um, so you guys will get an idea how that sounds. Let's give you some clean tones first here. this guy on we'll see how it sounds <laughs> to setting two now which is called woohoo I had to do it I had to guys I'm, I'm sorry I just had to it was it was a need to do basis here woohoo so shape and distortion at about four o'clock everything else at noon the clipping switch all the way over the right hand side <laughs> setting three which is colors and shapes turn this guy all the way left the distortion stays where it's at the shape goes all the way down to about six or seven o'clock there clipping switch all the way to the left let's try that <laughs> to the bottom left now which is called Kenneth again I have no idea what that's a reference to maybe I'll find out from Scott and I'll post it up here someplace for you guys to see so we have shape and filter turned like that we'll put the distortion up to noon again here clipping switch in the middle <laughs>
try turbo mode here. So we turn the distortion all the way over this way. This bottom right knob to three o'clock. Go back to noon here. And then the clipping switch, we want to be all the way over to the right. So let's try that. turbo mode let's go to the last setting which is rat or rodent problem I should say so everything at noon except for the um, shape actually turn that down a little bit too all right let's try that <laughs> to get this unplugged and then I'll bring you back we'll give you my final thoughts on the Aravada distortion from Siren Pedals. Okay party people that was the Aravada distortion from Siren Pedals my buddy Scott Schwartley over there I absolutely love this pedal hopefully you guys got a pretty good idea of what this sounds like if you need another video to reference with this as well Harry and the Guitar did a really, really great preview of this. I'm going to post a link to his video in the description just so you get an idea of what it sounds like with the gear he's using versus what it sounds like with the gear I'm using. But I really love this. If this is something you want to pick up, go over to SirenPedals.com. Use my code BGS20. That's BGS as in Basement Guitar Superstar and the number 20 to get 20% off this or any of Scott's other circuits. They're all great. I love all of them. I've done previews of all of them now, including this one. Also, he is going to have a booth at NAM this summer. I will be there for a little bit, hopefully play testing or helping him sell or whatever on one of the days. So make sure you stop by and say hi. If I had to give this a rating, I would probably give this like a 9.7, 9.8 out of 10. This is my all-time favorite distortion pedal. I don't think anything's ever going to dethrone it, honestly, because I've played a lot of them in my life, and I like this one the best. So anyway, guys, hopefully you found this preview valuable. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button for me. Hit the little bell symbol at the bottom as well, so you know when I have additional content coming out. As always, thank you so much for watching, and have fun playing.